All right, guys, I've decided to return to the beautiful New York to go over our $250 blue loadout. It has been a while since we did the $100 one, so I thought it was about time that we jump in and get some upgrades with the $250. Just to note, you obviously can't get a knife and glove combo in for $250 with all the skins, or you'd be, you could maybe, but you'd be really, really pushing it. But if you want a knife and glove combo, we are giving one away this month. It is the Gut Knife Black Laminate in Battle Scarred paired with the Broken Fang Unhinged Gloves that you can see on screen now. All you have to do to enter that is make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let me know your favorite skin from today's video. Honestly, $250 for Blue Loadout, I think this is kind of like absolutely maximizing, mid-maxing to get like, I think the max you have to spend, honestly. If you want the best place to buy and sell your CS2 skins, then look no further than today's sponsor, Skinport. Skinport offers users a fast, smooth, easy, and secure experience for buying and selling Counter-Strike skins with the benefit of items being much cheaper compared to buying on the Steam community market. This is the way. This is the way. There are no buying fees, selling fees range between 2 to 12%, and there's over 1 million skins available on Skinport at any time. With a great trust pilot rating, it's the perfect place to start building your loadout whether you're going for budget gems or picking up some insane skins. They are also the reason we can keep running giveaways to give back to you guys, so make sure you check out Skinport using the links in the description or pinned comment, and let's get back to the video. So, I'm going to kick it off with a Bunsen burner in minimal wear. This is 31 cent. Honestly, this is like a budget Twilight Galaxy. You're not having to pay $150 for it or whatever it is. 31 cent for this. It looks incredibly good. Do cheap craft and you're away. The USB is one area where I'd maybe consider using the likes of a monster mashup, even though it's blue and green. But I have gone for a blueprint here, eight dollars fourteen in minimal wear. These prices, by the way, are from around the nineteenth of May, so allow for some variance. But um, obviously, if you're going for blue, it's perfect. There's so much blue on this. Now, if you're a P2000 enjoyer, I'm actually including this in the price. So we're going to spend twenty dollars on total to get our USB and our P2000 Fire Elemental. Incredibly cool skin. The blue and the orange looks incredibly good. Obviously, if you don't use a P2000 at all, you can save yourself like the $12 uh, and get rid of this and use it elsewhere. Maybe use that for sticker crafts. Then I'm going to have a Midnight Storm for the Desert Eagle. Now, I believe this actually starts around $26, $27, but I budgeted pretty much $29 because uh, I think up to $30 is what you can expect to pay an overpay to get a low float. Now, by low float, I don't mean necessarily going for a double zero float or anything, but getting it to like as close to 0 0.01 as possible to remove as much as the marks as possible is what you want to do here. And I have a 0 0.01 equipped now. You can see how clean it looks in comparison. Then I'm going to go for what I would say now, top five AK skin, The Inheritance. And this one isn't field tested, believe it or not. So $75 pretty much for field test. As I always say, this is from the Kilowatt case. So expect this price to drop a bit over the next few months. But I would say we're getting close to the point where if you're going to be using this for the next year, Pick it up now for $75 rather than waiting, I don't know, six months to get it for $55 instead. I think you're going to get $20 worth of value from it in that time. So it's pretty fine to pick up. Then for the F1S, we're going to get oh, an incredible skin. I love this. It's the Nightmare. $18.55 for minimal wear. I always say this is a budget Icarus Fell, if not better. Now, I still personally would prefer the Icarus Fell because like the, the lore and the story behind it and stuff like that. And it's just, it's something a bit more flashy in game, right? That's just the expensive taste talking. But artwork wise and brightness wise, this for under $20 compared to 400, and, uh, 400 to $450, insanely good. Now for the Emperor 4, the Emperor, you can kind of get away with field test and maybe save yourself like $15. But I think going for Minware for $33 fits into the budget really nicely and means you're going to have Basically, an M4A4 that you... Like, the magazine looks clean. You're not going to have to worry about upgrading at any point. Could you put money on which up I'm going to pick? Because it is indeed going to be the Aetherius. I, I looked at the likes of the Cortisera and the Man of War and stuff, but for the prices, like, you're paying $20 plus for those. I think paying $6 max for a Minware Aetherius with this blue base and the green accents. And you can see here, even with blue gloves, the blue base works so well. You just deal with having green accents. It is what it is. Incredible skin for the price. Value for money is off the charts. And then, like we always say, when it comes to the MP9, there's not actually any um, real option. Like, you go Pandora's box or leather glass, but you're talking like $100 each for the skin at that point. So, I think going for a goo, which is like less than a dollar, yeah, 74 cent in minimum wear, is going to be the best option. And then a skin that hasn't really featured on the channel at all until now, and now has in like, what, three or four videos the past two weeks, is the Malachite. Or the, it is the Malachite. It is um, $1.88 in minimum wear. It's incredibly bright blue. Honestly, I absolutely love this skin now. And then similar to the previous video, we're actually going to spend a decent amount on the P250. And I'm going to go for an undertow here, which is $28. But with the case this is in, 
with the current market, it's likely this is just going to increase in the price. Maybe not like crazy shooting up to $50, but it should hold its value pretty well. And honestly, I think it's an, an incredibly cool skin. Uh, initially, when I first saw it, I didn't like the tone of like the black bit on top and the blue beneath it. But overall, it does look pretty damn good. And you can pick these up with some nice stickers. Hello, mate. For the Tech 9, we're going to have the Avalanche. Now, this is the blue with the orange accent. You guys know we always like this. $2.10 for this in minimal, where this is the sort of area that the blue skins start to absolutely cook. And uh, I've honestly surprised myself. I didn't think we were going to get this in, but we have. Now, for this one, I'm surprised we got it in, but I'm happy I have. We've taken a little sacrifice with it being field tested, but I've gone for the Waters of Nephthys. Now, obviously, you can see in field test that this starts to get somewhere, but this is why I love this skin, because Famuses, even some in factory new with double zero throw, look like this with wear. So the fact that this is field tested and it has to, has to get the field tested to get that wear is great. It's $34, but you will not need to change your Famous skin. This is long-term the best Famous skin. The only thing I'd say in the future is maybe jump into Minware. And then another area where the value for money is off the charts is the Stone Cold. This upgrade I got in CS2 to get a bit of a lighting effect means when you're paying like $3 for this in minimal wear, it's a perfect nice sort of blue, nice different colorway on it, and then brightness impact. Like, it's great. Now, a skin I've started to appreciate a little bit more is the Forest Knight. Now, this is factory new for 10 cent. Now, it's not a flashy skin by any means. It's a slightly different sort of palette of blue, but for Tencent, this is just incredibly clean, and this is exactly the sort of like budget skins I like to pick up because I honestly, you, you either go for incredibly clean or you go for the battle scar aesthetic and sort of commit to it. You don't want any in between. Now for the jewel berettas, I'm gonna go for the urban shocks. These are under two dollars for minimal wear. Again, nice bright blue on the top that you're gonna see when you're using them and when you're inspecting them, which is really nice. On the SG, I'm going to go for an anodized navy, which isn't always my favorite, but when we're paying 42 cents for fat junior, you know what? I, I think I can deal with it. It's a pretty nice skin overall for the money. And then while it's not anodized navy, I think color power wise, it fits it really well. And again, nice price and under a dollar. This is the Arist Aristocrat Aug in minimal wear for 78 cents. We continue the nice budget pickups now with the Slipstream XM. Now, this is, I think there is another one you could go for, but you'd have to go Souvenir and you're paying like maybe $2 for it. So I think 13 cent for this, just get something that fits the theme and look, does the job nicely is all you really need. And another budget gem, it's the Sirius uh, MP7. 15 cent for this, light and effect. So this is very, very similar to the Stone Cold artwork, which again, pairs them quite nice when you have both of them, but it is very similar with those blues and the blacks and the lighting effect. And then we have the Abyss for the sky, which is pattern based and it, it does change color as you change flow. But I think overall for a blue loadout, minimum wear is the sweet spot here for half a dollar. Now, that means this loadout comes out at $256.03. So we're $6 over the $250 mark, but that's well within our 5% to 10% buffer, like well under the 5% buffer, which is really nice. And like, like I said at the start, I think overall, this is a sweet spot for a loadout, honestly. Like, don't get me wrong. There are some areas you could go and try to upgrade to. The Deagle, you could try and go for a Cobalt Disruption. The Orb, you, oh, you could get a good near at some point. If you wanted the Ultimate one, obviously you can make it more expensive. But value for money for play skin wise, I think $250 for blue is pretty much the perfect sort of area. And then obviously the conversation has to come around knife and glove combos where maybe you look to spend anywhere between 300 to 500 to get yourself a nice combination. But that's going to be me for today. Just a reminder that there is the giveaway knife and glove combo that's going to be picked at the either the end of the month or the very, very beginning of June. It is the gut knife black laminate with the broken fang unhinged gloves in field tested. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite skin from today's video. That's how you'll enter it and then we'll pick it. It's going to go into a big spinning wheel. We'll do it live on stream and we'll see who wins the combination. I said to that, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're still enjoying this series. And yeah, we'll have some more videos coming soon. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.